I'm knocked out. How am I writing in my diary when I'm knocked out? Hello? What did you just say, sir? You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Can see who? What are you talking about? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But begging your pardon, sir, you should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Why hasn't it driven anyone else mad besides us, I guess? Like, why Why isn't she crazy? Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. All right, it's time to solve this mystery. Father got murdered. I think it was by a person, but there were, he saw a ghost. So I'm like, I'm thinking it's like the supernatural plus a murderer, plus maybe a little bit of mental health issues all mixed together into one giant ball of dead papa. So we're gonna figure out what happened to him, I guess. And it is now daytime outside, so maybe I can actually go outside. That maid or whatever, she's super sus. She knows something, but she won't tell me. She won't tell me all the secrets and the gossip. Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. That sounds absolutely disgusting, and I, I can't have uh, it in Mr. my house. David. Burn the place down. Nice of you to grace us with your presence. Are you really happy? <laughs> you don't look too enthused. <laughs> I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled <laughs> eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Am I dead? Am I a dead man? Am I just murdered because I ate my breakfast? I love how he's watching me eat. Are you the killer? That was delicious. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Ooh. I never had any of that stuff. It, well, I would have been interested to know what it tastes like. What's up, dusty old lady? Uh, lady Margaret. David. Uh, if I say the boy in the castle, she's gonna think I'm nutty. Unless she knows about the curse. But, uh, the maim seems to be afraid she's gonna lecture her if I say that. Maybe I'll just ask about her husband. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. Um, I do recall those letters that were in the office that stated he was actually kind of an asshole. So, uh, she's lying through her goddamn dentures. <laughs> I don't believe a word of what she just said. But she also was his wife, so she's in love with him. She could just be biased. She might actually think all those things. And everyone else just hates him. <laughs> so, uh, that's a thing. Okay, so it wasn't me. It had to have been my dad. That must have been, like, a memory of his, maybe? The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. Oh, throwing she's probably shade. heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. Oh, I found it. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? I could use this to earn her trust. Nice. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good piece of leverage for me. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. 
Oh shit. This dusty old lady, I, she's super sus, man. I think she murdered my dad. She's lying about my grandfather being a good person. She's saying my dad was violent and tried to, to hurt her. I don't know, she's super sus. She might look like an innocent old lady, but she's evil on the inside. <laughs> It was important. Don't lie, because she knows I opened it. I was looking for some documents and Andrew had already gone to bed. I would still appreciate you respecting the rules of this house. You're not its owner quite yet. All right. Fuck you too. You still wiping the same part of the table, man. The staff. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Oh. Not many for such a big house. So, Rory the gardener, the maid, and then this guy are the only people I could talk to besides Grandma Chocobitch. So, okay, let's not talk to him about the earrings. Well, good day to you. Because I don't want to make him suspicious, Indeed, especially if he's not on my team. And he's going back to wiping that one spot. Because what the fuck do I pay you for? That looks super creepy. You just came out of the darkness. I was born in the darkness. There she is. What are you looking in there for? Uh, Miss Cranon? What the fuck? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Who? Who put it in there? I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. It's no wonder nobody fucking works here. <laughs> I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir. There's things you should know, but I really need this job. I feel she so bad. But how can I convince her to trust me? Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. So who the fuck put the dead animal in there to try and scare her? She's terrified of literally everything. Like every question I ask her, she's like, <gasps> Shall we? Oh, this is how I die. <laughs> Sorry, father. I couldn't figure out how you died. I got bit by a freaking black widow. Put that in my Narnia pocket real quick. Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. Looks fresh. Uh, Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie, another family member I've yet to meet. So there is someone else here besides the three of them. It's dusty, there's spider webs everywhere. <sighs> How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. Yeah, no shit. I would not be going down there. Fuck Harsh that. as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. But some of that stuff is wood. Aren't you gonna ruin the fucking pulley thing by doing that? Step right up! Sir? What are you... Oh my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, does that not hurt? No, a little trick I learned in India. Uh, they're still there. Oh! 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 Sorry, 
Did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think... Huh. Well, goddamn, who the fuck is this guy? And you are? Edward Mallory. You may call me Edward III. Oh, so this is Edward. So this is Cousin Eddie. He seems... Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door and nails, the pair of them. Lovely. <laughs> this guy seems... <laughs> my character seems so unimpressed with this guy. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. <laughs> I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, Why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs. I really have to go. I, th I think he likes her. Leaving so soon. Uh, was it something I said? They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. You said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh. You don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. <laughs> He's done with their shit. <laughs> There's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. At last, I might get some answers.